It's food pantry day. Let's check on the mini fridge. Well, our refrigerated items are a little low right now. So we've got plenty of room up here, a little room on the side, lots of room here. Let's go out to the food pantry and see what we can find this week and fill this up. Hey everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my living room for this week's food pantry haul. If you are a brand new viewer, I hope I earn your subscription. It means a lot to me when you subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you and welcome back. I appreciate your support. Well, let's get into this food pantry haul. I've got a lot of bags to go through. And please stick around so I can show you what I got from the dump this week. Also, do you want to know how the baking soda worked out with trying to clean these lids? This is dried baking soda. We're going to rinse this off and see if the lid has gotten any better. Remember the thrift store haul and I got the $3 basket for $0.75? Cents? Let me show you what I did with this. Please stick around. First up, let's take a look at the meat. So please stay tuned for the score of the week under the little yellow towel. We have got some beef flat iron filet. That is fantastic. Now for a look at the perishable items. We've got some spicy red lentil soup, a pulled pork barbecue meal, butter, a chicken meal, meatballs, an arugula salad, two of those. We got a chicken salad a Greek yogurt. I don't think I've ever tried this cheese, but it says Europe's leading cheese expert. So we're gonna give that a try. We got a kale salad kit and another arugula salad kit, a miniature cabbage. This is called pumpkin roll. We got peanut butter and then we've got a low fat milk really good stuff super excited to get all of these vegetables really great i think the milk leaked on this meal i hope the milk is still good wait a minute did i say this was a perishable item i meant to put the peanut butter with the non-perishables now for a look at the non-perishable items we've got this variety tea pack the food pantry put together it includes a matcha tea chamomile, and I believe that's a cinnamon tea. Two pounds of extra thick rolled oats. It's a really good find. Two cans of green beans, tomato paste. We've got the peanut butter, and then we've got pumpkin seed butter, which looks really very green, very interesting color. We've got a single serve pineapple juice cranberry sauce, lentils, two cans of lentil vegetable soup. We've got instant mashed potatoes. And I went ahead and got this. I saw that it expired about five months ago. I'm gonna give that a try. I know it can be kind of controversial 
and I'm not telling anyone to do this, but I'm just gonna give it a try and see what I think. And if it's not good, I'll at least have the little jar to reuse. Now for a look at the bathroom and kitchen supplies. We have two rolls of Amazon toilet paper, some dish soap. This looks pretty neat. This is supposed to help fight gum disease. Stimudent. I don't think I've ever heard of this, but I wanted to give that a try. And then we have a razor. Really good stuff. So glad to have this in the provisions. Now for a look at the countertop perishables. We've got these two pack cookies and I put the carbohydrates on here for what one cookie has in it. The oatmeal cranberry cookie has 15 carbs. Chocolate indulgence, 30 carbs. Then, got another oatmeal cranberry cookie. Double chocolate chip has 28 carbs. And then the Italian cookie tray has 10 carbohydrates for one little cookie. I don't think I've tried these before, but I thought it would be wonderful for the holidays. Cranberry pecan sensation with coconut. One cookie has 25 carbs. And then this is cinnamon raisin bread. One slice has 20 carbohydrates. I'll definitely be freezing some of these items. I forgot a countertop perishable. We got some keto bread. I guess I need this to offset all the cookie carbohydrates. And this was a bonus item in one of their freezers. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand. It looks like it's from Canada but I thought this would be really nice to have. So we'll give it a try. Ta-da! The score of the week, we've got boneless beef top round steak. That's a big old piece of meat right there. Will it all fit in the mini fridge? Well, let's see how I do this week. I'm gonna use both of these arugula kits to make a large salad for lunch. First things first, since the milk was leaking, I'm going to repackage this in glass jars. I gave it the sniff test. It's not good. No repackaging. <laughs> no repackaging. I'll get this recycled. Sometimes that happens. You might get a dairy product and it could be a few days out of date. Sometimes it's totally fine. Other times you gotta let it go. Go ahead and work on these meals. I gotta get these repackaged. Just cut the label because it makes it easier for me to open up the packaging. Look at this. This one's really good. I've had this before. Delicious. Got my little dollar store Tupperware. This is going to fit a whole lot better in the mini fridge than this big old container. All right, let's do the pulled pork meal. Gosh, doesn't that look good? I don't like the macaroni and cheese. I wish I did, but whenever I heat this up, it has a really strange smell. So I'll discard the mac and cheese, but the rest of it will be wonderful. Perfect. The little blue container saves the day for the mini fridge. Favorite vintage bowl. That is so cute. I filled the bowl up to the top. I'm gonna save the other half of the package for later. So I'm using one and a half salad packs. Rolled it over, put some tape on it, and to the mini fridge you go. It's using one of the dressings that came with the salad it should be plenty. And I'll save the other one for later. Putting this in the mini fridge. Arugula already has a peppery flavor, but I like pepper, so we're gonna pepper it down. So I'll add some of the chicken salad. I still have some of that fancy bread left. Let's toast this up. Well, it's lunchtime. I've got the arugula salad kit with a scoop of chicken salad and the fancy bread. Can't wait to dig into this. Did it all fit? Let's take a look. Look at the mini fridge. It is stacked and packed. It's looking good. I've got the butter, the salad kits, the soup, the chicken salad, the mini cabbage, yogurt, the two repackaged meals. The milk did not make it, but that's okay. And then we've got the meatballs and the pumpkin roll. 
really happy with all of this food. Thank you, food pantry. Well, it's trash day. We're gonna head out to the dump and see what they've got. Mr. Turtle says hello. We're at the dump. Let's see what we can find this week. All right, we're in the shed. Let me show you what I got at the dump today. This is great. This looks like a piece of slate where someone hand painted this Dutch looking couple on here. I think that's so cute. And those fake trees at the dump had these lights wrapped on it. So I hope these work. I think they're just like clear white lights. This was a really big find. I think I'm gonna get a green thumb and start getting my garden together. I've always wanted to have a nice garden. I just don't really know how to do it. So I'm learning. And thank you for everyone's advice on the tips for the petunia and the spider plant. It makes a big difference. Last but not least, I found this Nesco food dehydrator. It looks like it has all of the pieces the base piece and then these little inserts and they just stack on top of each other. I looked inside of the motor and I didn't see anything crawling around, but I put stuff out here for in, uh, quarantine just to make sure. I think I need a bigger shed. See if these lights work. Wow, they actually work. That's so great. It's dinner time. Look at those beautiful colors. I love it. Last time I forgot to dig through the salad to remove anything that I don't like. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, I went through the salad and I just removed the pieces that are a little too hard for me to chew. And that's what I took out. Let's add the salad dressing. I'm gonna try to use half of it to start off with. I'm gonna add that pepper. Let's add the little seed pack. I'm gonna add this Parmesan cheese that came with the other salad kit. Let's plate this up. Wow, that's beautiful, but I'm not done. <laughs> Look, it looks like a little wreath. Look how pretty. While the bread's heating up, we are gonna work on the salad and doctor it up with one of these trail mix. You're gonna like this plate. I'm gonna show you over in the sunshine so you can really see it. Look at this plate. I think this is one of my most favorite plates. It has all of my favorite colors. It's gorgeous. I love the orange and the green. Let's work on this plant. There's my little plant from the dump. It's been neglected. I was told it needed a good watering, so here we go. I think it needs more water. We're gonna trim this back. Okay, is that too much or not enough? Tell me what you think. What does this plant need? Got all four lids dried off. The pickle jar lid was 
it was the smelliest and I can still faintly smell the pickles. I'm gonna do one more application of the baking soda, but I have to say this has worked really, really well. It has taken at least 50% of the odor away, if not more. That's a win. Thank you to the subscriber that recommended this baking soda trick. Got a bamboo body pillow from Amazon. Pillows are a lot different now than I, when I was growing up. Okay, I have to massage the pillow for two minutes, then let it sit for 24 hours. Put in dryer for three to five minutes. I do not have a dryer. That's okay. Oh, this is pretty fancy. It's a good box. It's got a handle and everything. I'm gonna save this. Maybe I can use this plastic in the garden. Saving it! Right, time to massage the pillow. It was suggested to me to start using cardboard to help seal up the window crack in the bedroom. So I'm gonna use the cleanest part of this box just for that. Yeah, that's a pretty clean piece there. Let's try this little sampler cookie tray I put together. The chocolate chip cookie is absolutely wonderful. Let's try this chocolate indulgence. I think this is a little too sweet. It's delicious, but it's extremely sweet. It has the texture of a brownie. This is from the Italian cookie tray. Look at all of the beautiful colors. It's like the circus, so cute. Let me show you how I've got the mini fridge set up with the little white basket right here. This just fit in perfectly. And I'm gonna put salad dressings in here because it's real lightweight. And by doing that, I'll free up the space from this container. And just like that, it's done. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you for spending your evening with me. What did you think of the little white basket in the mini fridge? And how about the petunia? The petunia got a haircut. That's pretty exciting. I think I'm going to get that green thumb soon. Did you have a favorite part to the video tonight? Let me know what it was. Did you like the meals that I was cooking? I was real happy with the plates and the presentation. I thought they were real pretty. And don't forget, the next video comes out on Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope to see you then. Until then, happy Thanksgiving and have a wonderful night. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.